and difference of two cubes. So if you are watching this video, there are a bunch of other factoring videos that I have made. Um, so this is part three or four or whatever. <laughs> this is the sum and difference of two cubes, which looks harder than it actually is. I'm gonna teach you a little song. I'm gonna teach you a little pattern, a little acronym, and it's gonna be bing, bang, boom. We're gonna be good. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. So what I usually say is take out a sheet of paper. <laughs> Make sure you're practicing with me, not just staring at my face. Um, because I know what I'm doing. You need to know that. You know what you're doing. So make sure that you're paying attention. Okay, let's go. All right, factoring binomials, the sum and difference of two cubes. So uh, that might look like a cubed plus b cubed. Okay, so this is the sum of two cubes. Um, or it might look like a cubed minus uh, b cubed, and that is the difference of two cubes. This pattern works for whether it's a sum or a difference. Okay, so the sum of two cubes when you factor it looks like that, and the difference of two cubes when you factor it looks like that. But how do you get that? I got you. You always open up two sets of parentheses, and you're going to put two spaces in one parentheses and three spaces in the other parentheses. So the first part is a binomial, the second part is a trinomial, okay? So I teach my students a little song, okay? And that tells them what goes in every position, okay? So the song goes, first one, second one, first one squared, first one times the second one, the second one squared. Uh-huh. <laughs> Make sure you use some soap. That's the whole thing. First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, the second one squared. Use some soap. <laughs> it's obnoxious. They don't like it, but here we are. <laughs> okay, so, and then, so when I say use some soap, you don't wanna be dirty, you don't wanna be nasty, you wanna use some soap. So the S in soap stands for same. So the sign that you're gonna put in this position is the same sign that you started off with. So if you started off with a plus, it's a plus. If you started off with a minus, it's a minus. Opposite, that's the O in soap. The O in soap stands for opposite. So the opposite sign of what you started with. So if it was the sum of two cubes, you're gonna start with a negative. Oh, you're gonna put a negative there. And then if it was the difference of two cubes, then you would put a plus there. And then the A and the P in soap stands for always positive. So no matter what, if you started with the sum of two cubes or the difference of two cubes, that last sign is always gonna be positive, baby. So that's it. First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, the second one squared. Use some soap. Same sign, opposite sign, always positive sign. Okay, let's go. Um, you should definitely know what some common perfect cubes are, so I like to share some with my students. If you're my student, I'm sharing them with you now. So you have one is a perfect cube. Sometimes we forget about that one. Eight is two cubed. 27 is three cubed. 64 is four cubed. Uh, uh, five cubed is 125. And six cubed is 216. Okay. Let's say that you have 8y cubed minus 27. Okay, eight is a perfect cubed because two cubed, and then 27 is a perfect cube because three cubed. So my first one, because in the song we say first one, second one, the first one that I'm talking about is two, okay? Because two is the cube of eight. Um, and then the second one that I'm talking about is three because three is the cube of 27, right? And we have the difference of two cubes, so let's go. So um, I'm gonna set up my problem with a binomial and then a trinomial, right? And then I set up that second one just so that you guys can see the pattern. So the pattern is first one, that's the beginning of the song, right? So two Y is the first one. Second one, uh, that's gonna be three, right? Cause three Y is the second one. First one squared. <laughs> So the first one, again, was 2y, right? So what is 2y squared? That's 2y times 2y. That's gonna be 4y squared, right? Don't say it's 2y squared, 4y squared, because two times two. Anyway, 
First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one. Um, so two y times three. That's gonna give me six y, hey. And then the second one squared. Uh, so the second one is three, so three squared is nine. Boom, you some soap. First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, the second one squared. You some soap. Okay, um, so don't be nasty, use some soap, same sign. So I started with a negative, so I'm gonna put a negative there. And then the opposite sign, so I started with negative, I'm gonna put a uh, positive. And then always positive, that's the A and the P in soap, sounds for always positive. Boop, guess what? You just factored the sum and difference of two cubes. In this case, the difference of two cubes. Yay, you! That's not that bad. Um, you just gotta memorize the pattern. Which you might not like to do, but it'll help you. Okay. Um, 125d cubed minus it. Okay, the difference of two cubes again. So I gotta figure out what the first one is. So 125, the cube root of 125 is five. And then the cube root of eight is two. So that's the second one. So first one is 5d, second one is two. So now that I know what the first one and the second one are, then I can set up my binomial and my trinomial and I can sing my little song. First one, 5d. Second one, Two. First one squared. <laughs> 5D times 5D. 25D squared. First one times the second one. 5D times two, so 10D. Second one squared. Two squared is four. First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, the second one squared. Use some soap. Don't be nasty. Use some soap, okay? Same sign. So we started with a minus, so now it's going to be a minus good opposite sign we started with a minus so now it's going to be a positive and then a in the p in soap stands for always positive no matter what this sign is always going to be a plus sign bada bing bada boom baby that was easy right easy peasy lemma squeezy maybe 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 hopefully <laughs> okay um eight plus z to the sixth power uh, eight, cube root of eight is two, so that's my first one. Z to the six, this one's a little tricky because you're like, uh, what do I do, it's a six, is that a cube? It's Z, it's Z squared, like chill out, like a Z squared times Z squared times Z squared, three times, right, is gonna give me six Z's all together. So that's the cube root of Z to the six, it's Z squared. You're fine. Okay, set up your binomial and your trinomial. Um, and then we're gonna sing our song. First one, that's gonna be two. Second one, Z squared. First one squared. So two squared equals four, good job. First one times the second one. So two times Z squared. Second one squared. So this is Z squared times Z squared. How many Z's are there gonna be? Four of them, thank you. Good. First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, second one squared. Use some soap. <laughs> the more obnoxious I am, the more memorable this is, and uh, hopefully that helps. I okay. So same uh, opposite. Always positive. So my sign, we, we just did the sum of two cubes. So the sign stayed a plus in the first, in the binomial. And then in the trinomial, um, instead of a plus, I used a minus, but the second one is always a plus, no matter if it's the sum or the difference of two cubes. And you did it. You did that. That was you. Good job. Okay. Whew. 4x to the fourth plus 108x. And I know you're like, Wait a minute, that's not cubes. Four is not a cube, 108 is not a cube. Well, like we always say, us math teachers, look for a GCF. It should be the first thing you look for every time you factor a, a polynomial, period, poo, okay? So um, look for the GCF first. So I'm looking at my four and my 108, 
N4 goes into both of those. And then looking at my X to the fourth and my X, X is gonna be what's in common for both of those. So my GCF is gonna be 4X and what's left inside is gonna be an X cubed plus 27. So the purple part of this problem now is the sum of two cubes because X is a perfect X cubed is a perfect cube and 27 is a perfect cube. So I have to take the cube root and figure out what the first one and the second one is. So um, when I do that, X cubed, X is gonna be um, my first one and then three is gonna be my second one. So let's set up our binomial and our trinomial, everybody. Uh, our binomial first one is gonna be X second one it's gonna be three first one squared so X squared first one times the second one X times three three X second one squared <laughs> sorry three squared is nine use some soap <laughs> I'm sorry that you're watching this, but it's fine, you'll get over it. Um, same sign, so it was a plus, we keep a plus. Opposite sign, it was a plus, so that means that we keep a minus. Um, and then the last sign is always positive, no matter what. Yay, you did it. And don't forget the GCF. My students will do that all the time. Don't do that. Uh, make sure you put your four X in the front. Get your full credit for that problem, baby. Um, don't forget the GCF. Yay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, try on your own. So this part of the problem give you some time to do it on your own. Hopefully you had taken some notes. If not, shame on you. Okay. This is gonna have a GCF, but you got this. One minute. time okay so my GCF is gonna be a 2 and then the first one should be Z the second one should be 2 um, and your answer should be this 2 parentheses Z squared plus 2 parentheses Z to the fourth plus minus 2 Z squared plus 4 okay try on your own again one minute and go Take out a GCF. And time. Uh, the GCF was three, so then your final answer is one minus X, parentheses one plus X plus X squared. You did that. Good job. That is the, the end of this video on the sum and difference of two cubes. Um, you should go back through the video. You should see if you could do the examples on your own without my help. I say that every video. <laughs> 
Uh, but uh, if not, like I always say, I will see you in the next one.